What's up, guys? Jay Bass Phoenix here. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. We're back. Uh, book plug paperback 20. Kindle limited free 99 minus 99 and Kindle digital only $10. Make sure you give it a rating. Um, if you add a review, ratings just giving it stars, but if you, if you give it a, a review, then I shout you out. Um, Let's upload the final chapter we're going to upload for either of these sites. I'm considering deleting my Wattpad account in a few days because this is not a good site for me to post on. Um, so let's just add the next chapter and see where that goes. And if nothing comes of it, we're deleting our Wattpad account. Just like Royal Road. It's chapter six. Okay, chapter five. Chapter five isn't that long either. So here we part chapter five. Oops. We'll be streaming Warzone at 9 o'clock today. So, see what becomes of that. <sighs> What's this one? Post that one. All right, that's done. Go back to the profile here. Post the final chapter on here. Wish I could add like an author's note to this to the chapter. What up, the Homer J? Hope you're doing well. Uh, my 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 close friend uh, John just sent me a um a thing. Nice little message. I'll read it in 
in its entirety for myself later, but, um, cool. Well, that was the final chapter. It was the final chapter that we're posting for free on these sites. Give you guys kind of like a tease for the story in case you're trying to figure out whether you want to want to buy it or not. Um, so we can close out of this one. And I guess we'll, we'll start planning the revamp. I can promise that. I think we, I said we would start planning these chapters. I've been saying it for a minute now, but, um, let's start doing that. Uh, we need to look back at the other one, the other beat sheet. Yeah, the old stuff to see, um, to compare it to, I guess. Maybe we don't. Oh, right. The exam. Okay. Hmm. So, he's been alive for like a decade and decade and a half. Around a half. He's a teenager, right? Sure. So, he's used his powers in public before and he's probably been caught a few times doing it and detained or whatever. But, by the corrupt cops of the planet, but what would, something's got to happen to where he would end up taking this exam. I don't know whether he's forced to take, to take this exam or he, uh, after all these years, he decides it's time to go after these CEOs and the underground villains that killed his father or essentially had a hand in killing his father. Um... Um, okay. I think I'm going to start off with some massive world building. I like starting off stuff like this. What's some massive world building so you know what's what's going on. Hmm. Running from some guards, he just stole the prototype. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Prototype infinite back. from Kokaida's corporation 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, he runs down the side. No, let's say he leaps from the roof of the building, the, the cloud scraper. Uh, and uses his shockwave generation to stop himself from splattering on the pavement. Last second. Um, he makes sure he's not being followed. So this way, without introducing the characters and all that, we can see a little bit of Sarah's motivations and you know, learn the type of character he is by just giving him alone time before we start introducing the other, the other, uh, the other main characters. Okay, okay, I'm gonna keep writing. Um, make sure he's not being followed and heads back to his. I keep calling it the hole in the wall apartment, even though it's kind of just an open basement that doesn't have a door on it, kind of unsafe. But he has it. The whole point of him it's, you know it's it's kind of like a point he's he's in a really bad living situation not the best financial situation you know he's not he's a pretty hungry kid and all that um followed heads back to his whole new apartment where he opens the Xena pack he just stole and digs around to find the manual and uh, a, a holog holographic message from his father. Uh, the message, we don't have to make this, uh, the message tells zero about the probability God, I keep spelling this wrong probability my fingers can't keep up with my mind oh my god guys I got it there it is so let's hear about the probability of um Uh, what was his name? Zero Stratus, Zero, uh, Zero Stratus and Chimilo. That was his name. Being assassinated by the Kokaida Corporation. Or one of the many corporations connected to connected to um, Kokaida's um, uh, uh, father Pimulo. Also points out that the manual will help Zero understand Infinite Pack better. And I think it'd be a pretty cool running gag if if you actually never know how the Infinite Pack works, but Zero does. He reads the manual, is like, oh, I can't believe nobody's ever thought of this. And he's, and he's able to use it easily, but everybody else in, in the series might not be able to. Uh, 
to add that running joke where Ciro says, uh, can't believe no one's ever thought of this. Um, pretty simple. Everyone else in the series is unable to utilize uh, Infinipack to the potential zero can. The reader will never know the secret um, either. I, I, I ended the stream yesterday. First of all, I apologize for ranting. There's a lot of stuff going on in my mom right now. But, um, I ended the stream saying I had to sleep on how this exam thing worked, but I promise you all of this stuff is improv right now. Well, with this as reference, but I'm not really, I have, I'm not even really looking over here. I know what happened in the original intro, but we're changing it for this story. And I know how I want the exam to happen. Like all of this just came to me. Um, okay. Uh, I must, uh, Running joke, um, Infinipack. Uh, I don't know if I want him to save that person in the alley. Maybe there should be. A, I, I want there to be like I. I'm trying to cut down on the amount of times I use alleys in any of my stories. Descended. It's kind of just in the first book. There's at least like five alley scenes, and in like the fourth or fifth one. I think even Lux makes a joke out of it. He's like, eh, but how many alleys are there in this city? Um, no, it might have been Eidolon. I think he does. I think Eidolon does that. Uh, Lux's friend. Um, but I got I got to think of a different because I still want Omnispec to be introduced in this chapter. Um, hmm. Maybe Sir goes out for food and <laughs> let me think. Let me think. It's a better way to introduce because I also want Omnipex powers to be displayed here. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, understand the infinite pack better. Um, his father also suggests his son take the exam to use his uh, virtue. This is where we first heard here of the word uses virtue powers freely um, and to practice with his, his special eyes more. Um, maybe it could be like a little here where he he knows because you know he's his father he knows like he's getting into a lot of trouble for not having his his I, mean, we should, I think we should call it a badge maybe not a license but a badge he's throwing your clothes to to show the law enforcement on disturb that you know you pass the exam and you're able to use your power freely so they, they pretty much leave you alone if they see the badge on your clothes somewhere um it should be like a, a thing you have to stitch into your clothes well, that's pretty primitive, but maybe it could be glowing. I don't know. Um, mm, 
I'm not going to have his father explain what the badge does. But maybe Omnispect can explain it to him when he bumps into him. Um, Zero goes out. To steal some food. For himself. And successfully nabs a burger from a street vendor who is asleep. Maybe Omnispec sees him here. Like, there doesn't have to be any sort of dramatic thing going down in order for them to meet. It would just be a coincidence. I got it. Okay. Um, Street Runner who is asleep. Okay. Got it. Omnispect. See Ciro do this. When Ciro was sure, no one else could see him. Oh, gosh. Maybe we should have. 360 to his thing. So maybe he like uses his eyes here and he's able to see around and make sure nobody's looking. Kind of like that too. Let's add that to his abilities. I know I'm adding a lot to his thing. It's only technically supposed to be one power per person. But when you're a main character, eh. Like I said, there is a downside to it. So it's not like he can constantly use his eyes. Um... And 360 degree vision. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Well, I don't. I don't really even. No, if we really need that open. Sure, no one can see him. Mm. Let me expect introduces himself, and Ciro keeps an eye on him and the two behind. Uh, on the expect. Did, I think, I don't remember, but did we give Morphton powers? And I, I gotta change his name, I don't like his name. We didn't. Shoot. Um, let me look at my example power system list and see if we can give him any of the, of the self-mutator abilities. Probably the rubber one. Probably the rubber one. I could see him doing something ridiculous like that. Rubber physiology. Okay, what do we have under self mutators? Shape shifting. He kind of has that as an ad adaptal. I was going to make him a stellar, but if I did, that kind of cut down on the amount of alien non stellar characters I have in the series. And at the beginning, I'm supposed to introduce like. Yeah, most of the stel stellars make up most of the planet, but there's aliens coming in and out. There are aliens that are not stellar born there. Um, so I think I like I like rubber physiology for him. What's the actual word? I, th I hope I'm using that. Uh, maybe it's elasticity on here. Uh, it's a physiology thing. So, yeah, let's just call it elasticity. You know? Plus, it's a shorter word. Okay, so let's add his strengths and weaknesses here. So he has rubber powers, but he's also an adaptal, and his adaptive physiology allows him to shapeshift. I'm gonna change his name because I don't like the name Morphton. 
I could save it for later, like add it to the top of names that, that are possible to use, but you know, I'm not the biggest fan of it. All right, we're trucking along. I didn't see, I didn't know what we were going to do today, but I like it. We're, we're trucking, trucking along with this, this here. Um, real name, we gotta change that. Alignment, uh, probably neutral evil. Uh, let's do, let's find, let's find the weakness. Okay, here we go. With kinetics. Oops. Here we go. can actually move this up to morphed in here. Change the name. Ah, uh, shoot. What are some other words for shift? an alien name out of that. Conversion con conver. Maybe change. I don't want to name them very, like with an I. Um, because Omnispec's real name is Vid, and I don't want the reader to get confused there. Uh, see change. Um, just, it's a little too on the nose. Revise. Spell it a different way. Uh, switch shift. Adapt. Custom accommodate. Hmm. Something with a re. re. Um, it's not recon. I was gonna. I'm, I'm trying to think of shorter words here. Let me just revi. Ready. No. Remo, that's an actual name. Rico, that's another actual name. It'd be a different spelling. Maybe, I don't want him to be an M, like I want their names to be a little different so they don't get confused, because the other one's name is Mend, and I really like that name, so first of all, it hasn't been taken, but, um, prepare, conform, comply, back to metal, alter, yeah, straight, Jesus. Guild. What does guild mean? I'm 
Okay, I don't know what guild means, so I might have to look this up off stream in case anything disgusting pops up. Oh, castrate male animal. No, we are not naming him that. Amend? <laughs> no. Too close. Mend and amend. Nope, not doing that. Budge. It's a pretty dumb name. Bend? Mend and bend. <laughs> oh. If they were twins, that might not be bad. Sway. Locomote. Move yield slide. Well, he's working for me. I'll we'll have to do this later. Barter. Must change. Ex Exchange, convince. Crisis. Development. All right. Um, turn on Alright, we'll figure it out later. I don't want to spend too much time on it. I don't know how much time I just spent on it now, but we'll figure it out later. Um, some high and omni specs, and, uh, mend, and let's put his name in brackets, Morton. Um, uh, Wakes the vendor up and allows wakes the vendor up, pays for Ciro's current stolen burger, and tells the vendor. Whatever Cyril wants the menu and however many. Cyril's not too sure about it and doesn't want to own anybody. But Omnispec says, uh, I won't, I, says, let's say something like, I don't even know your name. Name kid. Um, seriously, don't worry about it. My treat. I honestly just want to help. This is enough to convince Ciro, and he buys tons of food that get this he piles into his infinite pack. Um, not the brightest move on his part, means make mistakes. But Omnispec sees this, he notices this. Um, Omnispec comments on the bag. And Ciro just says, 
It was a gift from my dad. Zero and Omni Spec. <laughs> like you're this is already tension here because you don't know who Omni Spec is at this point. But you know, he he could be anybody. But with how weird he looks and the two bodyguards behind him, his eyes are two different colors, and they could definitely morph and change and Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm liking the revamped story already. We haven't even gotten to the new power system yet, and I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay. There's, there, there hasn't even the only action up until this point in in the beach in this, the beach sheet is is him jumping off the building. I, I, it's, it's tense. It's, you can you smell that? It smells like tension. Okay, Sierra and Omnispect um, go their separate ways. Omnispect giving Sierra a second look. Um, Sierra goes back home for the night. And watches and eats his piles of food while watching his dad's holographic message over and over. That one ends in feels already, guys. I'm sad. Now I'm sad. It wasn't even, like I said, the only action is in the very, pretty much the beginning of the chapter. But I, I think it's a great chapter to start with. And I, like I said, I already like it better than the other chapter we started with. And we haven't even gotten to the power system yet. Ah. Oh. oh, man. Like I said, this is all on the spot. I, didn't, I wasn't thinking about this last night at all. Or today, this morning, whatever. I didn't know what I was going to do on stream until I got on camera today. Keeps an eye on. Uh, not too sure. Go. There's there. It's the wrong there. Oops. Separate ways. Okay. Chapter two. How does chapter two go? Mm -hmm. So let's have him start looking at the exam. Let's have him start looking at the exam. And while he's doing that, so let's have him when he enters the exam room, let's have let's cut to excuse me, what Kokaida is doing. And um have Omnispec walk in on her. Yeah, originally it was just supposed to be his hologram because you're not supposed to know who it is, but you know who it is. And I'm gonna let you know early on um, for, I think it's dramatic irony's sake. I think it's dramatic irony or situational. I can't remember. Um, Zero looks uh, walks around the next day looking for flyers on where to sign up for the I don't know what to call it virtue exam. The virtue exam. Uh, hmm. Finds one. Hmm. What if he's met Clutter? What if, what if he finds one near Clutter's junkyard? 
What if he finds one near Clutter's junkyard? The whole thing before with what happened with Clutter without without the help of Exabyte and you know him being able to use electricity powers. Um, what if the whole thing with, with Clutter happens there? Find out he's a summoner. Well, you don't know yet because you don't know the virtue system. The reader won't. Um, happens there. He's at a disadvantage because he's not really fully capable of using his virtue abilities just yet. And he has to rely on his eyes. And you see how he's able to, what the eyes can do um, from this little scrimmage before he even knows about what they can do. So you're wondering, it leaves the reader wondering, well, what the hell are these eyes? And how many abilities does he get from this? Where did these eyes come from? I don't have an answer for where the eyes come from as yet. But at this point, neither does the reader. So it's fine. Um, so he finds, a, yeah, okay, I like that. Because I still want Clutter to be in the series. Uh, the, uh, a flyer near a post that's... Uh, find a, a flyer on a post. Street post that's near Clutter's junkyard. Um, I spelled his name wrong. Coulter. Clutter's junkyard. Goes to walk away. But here's yelling come from within the junkyard. Um, normally he'd walk away. But something about having something to strive towards as far as Getting his virtue badge. Oh, I keep spelling it right. I do the R before the virtue badge. And hearing his dad all last night makes him go and see. Go and poke his nose in the situation. Um, maybe we should cut to Al-Qaeda here. I'm trying to think if anybody, if Kokaida has, maybe she should have like one henchman of some sort under her, like a right hand. Maybe she should be female. I'm thinking they should be female as well. Because with Kokaida and Vermilion both female being in a relationship, you find out pretty early in the series, there's the thing about what if she was also sleeping with her henchman. It's not something, that's definitely something Omnispect wouldn't do, because he's pretty much asexual. But, um, hmm, what would their powers be? Okay, so we need a new character here. Um, don't have a name for, used to be morphed in, um, so we can get rid of rubber man here. Because that power was given to, well, the guy, the stellar formerly known as Morphton. Uh, do we have the list open? All disturb? Yeah. Okay, hang on. It's here. Um, get rid of Rubber Man on the list as well. But Morphton's, you, oh, you guys can see this. I good. Morphton's name in brackets because his name is going to change. Um, 
You should also keep a list on the beat sheet of the character characters introduced in order. In order of appearance, here we go. Get rid of this list. Get rid of this list too. Right now. Zero. Um, I don't know if I want Kokaida to be in the intro scene where he's jumping off of a building. Um. <laughs> okay. Just back over. We're looking at the list of new of possible abilities. All in this document. For Kokaida's right hand. I want to put them directly under Kokaida so they're not sep too separate from where they should be. Let's copy over the virtue template, new character, new virtue character template. There you go. And I never described Kokaida, so I'll try and take some time or I'll do it on stream out of nowhere and find out exactly. Um, let's move Morphton and Mend up under Omnispect. I feel like this should be in order a little bit at least. Uh, here he is. Boom. Hey, you notice the computer's not lagging? So maybe I really did need to upload, up, update Google Chrome. Only thing we're doing is streaming and, and, and writing. Um, so make sure you guys stick around if you want. I'm going to try to filter myself a little more. Um, but we're going to play Warzone with some of my friends after this. Because why not stream it? You know? Um... Plus, Joe yesterday was asking, you know, well, Twitch is more for gaming, so maybe that'll do something. Maybe that'll do something. Uh, virtue, character, template. Okay, this was, I needed abilities for her. So I don't want the, I don't want them to be a kinetic. Maybe a touch mutator, the infused combustion power, maybe. Organizations, physiology, morphine. Why do I keep putting P first? I don't answer that. Um, I don't want them, like I said, I don't want her henchmen to be kinetic. Uh, female. Alien race. Stellar. Alignment. Lawful. I say lawful neutral. They're not like evil like Okaida. Um, class. Don't have any class. Weapons. None. Thing and affair with Okaida. Even though Hokkaida is in a relationship with Vermillion. Um, I have a lot of self mutators, self transmutators, so I don't want them, I don't want this henchman to be. Um, Change their template name. Uh, Kokaida's. And, and based on our ability, of course, we'll name her. Names might have to come later. You know, names take a minute for me sometimes. Unless I have, unless I'm starting creating a character with the name in mind already. Uh, maybe Traverser. Like a portal creator. 
Ooh, we haven't used this Raiden hat person yet. So maybe they have, they look a little, little mysterious. And they have a Raiden hat around and they could be a controller. I could see that. Looking mysterious AF. It also looked kind of funny if she's like in a office building, very thousand story tall office building. And, you know, everybody's in business suits and everything. And then you just see her henchman in the office with, with a Raiden hat on. Just chilling like. It's like, bro, what are you, why is she your right hand? Um, but yeah, let's, we can use that. The name's not going to be Raiden. And the Raiden hat, in case you don't know, I, there's an, I know there's an actual name for it. I just call it the Raiden hat. It's, it's just the, that. Um, so class is a controller. So we don't have many controllers yet. We don't have many controllers besides Zashi, so these let's spread spread ourselves across these these classes. Don't take that out of context. Power. Uh, all right. What's the what? We're gonna see if we can find Raiden hat name. Conical Asian hat or rice hat. Okay. But it's not going to be made of rice. It'll be like metal or something. Uh, so maybe a metal conical Asian hat. Or we can replace Asian with Stellar. Because that's all of their alien race name. So. Um. Shielding conical uh, stellar hat. In parentheses, I'm gonna just put Raid in hat. Rice hat. Let's put Raid hat. Strengths. So let's take the strengths and weaknesses of the of the controllers. So it might be because what she controls, what she summons, her weapon, is a hat. It might be... Oh, oh, you shared 100 bits? Oh, appreciate the bits, moms. Thank you for the bits. Oh, God. Dang it. it. The notifications are working again. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate you, as always. Party. Party, indeed. Um... So because, you know, you because controllers pretty much always have to keep their weapon out, because if they don't, they're kind of at a disadvantage. If you always see her in that hat, you're not assuming that that's her weapon. You're not assuming that's her virtual ability. You're thinking, what the hell is this chick doing in this office building with all these people in suits around? And she's in a freaking, I was about to swear, a freaking uh, a hat just staring at people under the brim of her hat like, all the time, you're not thinking that's her weapon. So that puts her at an advantage because you're thinking, okay, you're, you're you're getting ready to fight. You put your dukes up, and you're like, okay, okay, what's what 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 which which class does she fall under? And then you know you wait. She waits for you to attack, and you're just like, you ain't gonna do nothing, okay? And you swing, and then the hat just goes, and there's, there's a shield that comes down. And next thing you know, your hand is burning off. Because of the shield. You weren't expecting that. And now you're out of a hand. Because you, you didn't take her seriously in her Raiden hat. That's your fault. Okay. So. I don't have a name for Annette yet. We're in the, we're, we might just have to call her. Hattie. Yes. 
controller's weapons can be pretty much anything. It doesn't have to be a traditional weapon. That's another note I should make. It should be another strength, actually. Controller's weapons. Don't necessarily have to be a weapon. Yeah, let's take this one this here. So we got another new character. Didn't plan for this to happen, but you know how I be with these creating all these new freaking characters. We should add Hattie to the list. Her name's not Hattie, but we're gonna add her to the list of all to keep to keep track. We're gonna add her to the list of all these disturbed delinquent characters. So so far we have. 44 planned. At some point in the series, there are going to be 44 characters. Named characters. Um, not all of the main, of course. The main five are going to be the main, but... Oof. Uh, hey. Jesus Christ! Stop that! Thank you. Don't stop that, but... Huh. Thank you for the bits, uh, Mr. Sean. Pre appreciate it. Oh, God. That's why the notifications are working. I'm so happy. But maybe it was better when they didn't. Thank you for the bits again. Oh, my God. Um. Okay. That is right hand. No. Let's go back to the new. Add this final controller strength here. And then this. Um, actually, we can remove this from here because that's already stated as one of the strengths. Can't stop most time. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, stream is going about and hopefully next time tomorrow we will have a name for this character, Hattie. Um, but yeah, we're moving along. We got the first chapter already planned out, y'all. First chapter is good to go. We already started planning on the second, but look at this thickness. First chapter doesn't even have any action in it. Can you believe that? That's unlike me. Um, so before we head out for the night, wait, all right, book plug, paperback, oh God, paperback, $20, Kindle Unlimited, free 99 minus 99, making it only free, and Kindle Normal, the digital, $10, uh, make sure you guys give it ratings, or a rating, so I think it's one per person, um, and a review, if you give it a review, I shout you out, personally, me. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, shout out to the homie Jay, uh, moms for the bits, Mr. Sean for the bits, and y'all chilling in chat. Um, and yeah, we're gonna end the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. But wait, the button. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna, um, uh, you can stay here if you want. We're gonna, we're about to stream, uh, Warzone in a minute. Um, Yeah. You give it a few minutes, we're gonna stream Warzone. I'm unfiltered there though, so if you're family and you're not used to hearing me swear, please do not watch. Out of out of for your sake, don't watch. But if you if you're not family or if you don't mind hearing swearing or all of that, the writing is family friendly, but the games they're different. Uh where yeah, the words all, all types, types of bad words. Um, but we'll be on Warzone in a minute. I'm going to be chilling, playing with friends and see if we can get, get a dub. I've gotten one dub. Um, we've come, we came close yesterday with fifth place. But, um, yeah. All right. Uh, if you guys don't come back, I hope you all have a good night and maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
But um, if you're going to watch Warzone, give me till like 9.15 to start that stream up. Uh, dub season, indeed. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. JBase Phoenix, once again. Oh, and the Warzone streams, I, I have them on my YouTube, but they're private, just so I have them somewhere. But I'm not sure I want to upload them to, like, make them public to my YouTube just yet. One game with me. Mr. Shaw, we, I got a squad ready to go. We got a squad. We got a squad. We have, to, we, we can play another time, but, um, it could be on stream, I don't mind, but can't, can't, I don't think it could be tonight. Can't be tonight. But, um, we gotta go. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Give me till 915. And if I'm not there by 915, snap at me. Alright, JBS Phoenix once again, signing off.